My name is uh, Feroz Anlaki Ramasamy. I'm an English teacher for level two. My lesson is collective nouns. The reason I chose collective nouns because quite a number of the children are quite poor in their grammar. So I chose this uh, lesson to introduce them collective nouns and also they need to understand what the collective nouns are. Okay, uh, today we are going to do our lesson again. Who can tell me our previous lesson? Okay, Sofina. Teacher, we learned about collective nouns. Okay, great. So, collective nouns. You still remember collective nouns? Yes. I'm going to show you okay, a slide presentation. You're going to see the presentation. Then you need to answer my questions. Okay? Who knows what's the meaning of collective nouns? Yes. Teacher, collective nouns are names of people, animals, places, and things that are considered as a group. Okay, excellent. Okay, thank you, Sharifa. All right, so we go through the slide presentation now. So I want to see whether you can identify. In the lesson, I have given them some activities where they need to identify themselves from the slides and they need to come up with the collection nouns they've given. Then they need to really pick out, okay, based on the picture and also the idea that they get. Can you guess? A team of players. Okay, let's take a look. A team of? Players, very good. Now let's see another picture. So you're going to guess again. Next picture. Okay. All right. A choir of singers. Okay, take a look. That's great. Okay. Good. How about this? Yes. Sha. Sure. A pack of wolves. A pack of wolves. All right. That's good. This? Hmm. Yeah. A fleet of ships. A fleet of ships. Okay. Good. All right. Let's take a look here. Okay. Collective nouns. Basically, we can divide them into three groups where you need to identify collective nouns for people, collective nouns for animals and also we have collective nouns for things. things very good okay so can anyone read this hmm give someone yes munir a choir of singers a floor of tourists a troop of dancers a class of students an army of soldiers okay good okay peoples now you have learned Okay, collective nouns. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. So, collective nouns, we have three categories. Collective nouns for people, people animals, animals, okay. animals, things. Okay. So, I'm going to put you in three groups. Okay. So, in the three groups, you're going to do a presentation. Okay. That's a bubble map. So, you're going to draw a bubble map according to the category. Okay. The first group. Okay, you will do collective nouns for people. Okay, the second group, you will do collective nouns for animals. Okay, and the third group, you will do collective nouns for things. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so uh, once, you, okay, once you have done your collective noun, okay, you're going to write the collective nouns and then you are going to read out and present your bubble map. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. In the second part of the lesson, I've uh, given them more on uh, group work where they need to come up with bubble maps. So, in this activity, I've separated them into three groups where they need to find ideas for collective nouns. Like for example, I give them collective noun for people, collective noun for animals, and collective noun for things. Okay, so you will draw the bubble map and then I want at least eight collective nouns 
for each categories. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, you can start now. Okay, so look like all of you have done your work. Yes. Okay, very good. And now I'm going to call upon the group leaders. So you need to come forward and you need to present your bubble map. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so I would like to call upon the first group. Okay, group one. Okay, group one. Hi friends, we are from group 1 and today we are going to present our bubble map on collective nouns for people. As you can see, we have some examples and we would like to share them with you. The examples are a crew of sailors, a team of players, a class of students, a board of directors, a troop of dancers, an army of soldiers, a staff of workers and finally a choir of singers. Thank you. Okay. okay, so we are done with group one. Next, I will call group two. Are you ready, group two? Yes. Okay, group two. Can you come forward? Today, we are going to show you eight examples of collective nouns for animals. A gaggle of geese, a herd of cows, a pack of wolves, a pride of lions, a litter of kittens, a troop of monkeys, a school of fishes, and a flock of sheep. Thank you. Okay, so group three, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so if you are ready, you can come forward. Hello friends, today we are going to share with you 8 examples of collective nouns for things. Firstly, a group of islands, a world of nudes, a bouquet of flowers, a galaxy of stars, a column of smokes, a fleet of cars, a string of pearls and finally a heap of stones. Thank you. Okay, thank you group 3. Okay, so now all of you have presented your presentation, okay, bubble yes. map. I'm sure you know the collective nouns where we have three categories. Collective nouns for people, collective yes. nouns for animals, and collective nouns for yes. things. So that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed your lesson. Thank you. Through the activities, okay, I managed to uh, bring up the children to talk confidently. So from this lesson, they managed to come in front and present their presentation. So from here, we can actually develop the communication skills. The more confident they have in themselves, they will really achieve in something. And also, using the bubble in the map, okay, they managed to get the idea of collecting nouns and they managed to uh, really come up with the words.